This is David Gatti from WMPowerAsia.com. I'm here with Frank Pauli, Vice President of Map and Content Production uh, in Navtech. And we did hear that Navtech will uh, have a new system to gather data, road data, and it will be a partnership. Microsoft will help Navtech to process this information. Is this correct? Yeah, that's correct. So uh, that new data capture system uh, we refer to as Navtech True, uh, that for us is a next generation of technology uh, to collect data. We, we have been collecting data for over 25 years. This is our next generation technology. And there is indeed uh, a partnership with, uh, with Microsoft where we cooperate on the technology side in order to, uh, to capture and process the data and in the, in the business and go to market both uh, Microsoft as well as Neftech uh, will, uh, will use the data and, uh, and integrate it in products. And what's, what's new in this uh, type of uh, if this new gathering uh, data? Yeah, uh, it, it, as far as we are concerned it's a revolution. It's, it's the next generation of, of collecting data. Uh, without going into, into all the technical details, there are basically four types of sensors uh, in, uh, in the vehicles that we, uh, that we will deploy. There is a 360 degree panoramic video capture technology. There is um, high resolution uh, video, video cameras, six, six different cameras uh, providing the, uh, the horizontal uh, video plane. Then there is uh, LiDAR technology. LiDAR is next generation laser creating a, a, a georeference point cloud. So the LiDAR technology captures 1.3 million points every second and builds a, a digital model. And then there is a GPS and, and IMU sensor. So a whole lot of technology in these, uh, these vehicles capturing data. Uh, and these data then allow us to do a lot of things, but, but I think two things are important. A, it allows us to build the, the highest quality next generation 3D model of the world. That's, that's very important and exciting. But equally important, um, important, as I mentioned, we've been capturing data for 25 years. This new technology continues to allow us to capture and maintain uh, data in, in the highest possible quality. So it's not only about 3D, it also allows us to continue to update our database and, and continue to maintain and capture uh, important data on, on the road network. And this uh, new... So basically you will have uh, the roads in 3D, right? Uh, with these laser technologies. And um, how precise this uh, 3D scanning how, it's, how precise it is? I mean, uh, can you uh, detect knobs on, in the doors or uh, only the buildings, the walls and the window? No, no, it's very precise. I mean, we have, a, we have an, uh, an interesting video showing you the level of detail. Uh, but that's why I said it's about 3D, but it's also about road data. So there is a lot of advanced technology behind this interpreting the data. So it allows us to capture um, trees, it allows us to, to automatically recognize uh, road signs, it allows us to automatically recognize traffic lights. Uh, in total, we, we capture 280 attributes of every road that we, that we put into our database. And from the start onwards, this new technology allows us to automatically capture 70 of these attributes. So there's a, a very high level of detail allowing us to, uh, to build uh, advanced maps. Um, so when you detect a, um, a sign, on the road sign, will you delete that and replace it with a 3D object representing this, uh, this sign? Or you will use the 3, uh, 3D data that you, that you got? No, so in, in the case of the sign, uh, I mean, we do have a product where you can represent that sign as, as 3D, but in most applications you won't. And that's why I said for us it's important to, to have this as a technology allowing us to build 3D, but also to allow us to continue to build 2D, to allow us to, uh, to, to continue to capture and maintain flat data. And like in the case of a sign, so from the video we will, in our uh, production centers, automatically capture the sign data and then integrate and convert that into our database, allowing our customers to represent that road sign in whatever format they want to represent it, which could be 3D, but which could also be a, a flat 2D kind of text file. And how Microsoft is helping you proce pro process this, this data? Um, I'm not familiar with all the details there, but, but the cooperation with Microsoft is in particular on the, uh, on the processing of the data, but next to that, uh, for instance, we also cooperate 
on the uh, on the blurring side. So um, the um, the privacy of uh, of this data is an important theme. So, for instance, we want to blur faces of people. We want to blur uh, number plates of vehicles, and also in that area we uh, we cooperate. And. Uh after, uh, after you get uh, this new data, will Microsoft use it to enhance uh, Bing Maps, or how, how will it, they, or there will be a regular customer that have to pay for the data, or thanks for their help, you, they will receive it for a lower cost. Well, the Microsoft plans you should really discuss with uh, with Microsoft. Uh, I can only comment on uh, on the Neftec plans, which are, as I mentioned before, to convert these data into products which our customers use, but also. Uh, as an important source for us to continue to, to maintain and build our, uh, our mapping database. And this, uh, so, uh, because there is a lot of data, right, can uh, this new type of maps be used on smartphones uh, or only on PNDs uh, with better processing power? Yes, absolutely, and that's again uh, why for us it's important to capture the data in such a way that it is integrate, integrated with our regular mapping data. So we will build products at multiple levels, from very advanced 3D kind of models until simple 2D, 2D maps. So this technology allows us to continue to do what we have been doing for many years and then add this, this exciting new 3D layer to that. And then when it comes to full 3D rendering, obviously uh, the, the storage uh, space that is available on devices, the processing, uh, uh, the processing power of these devices do play a role. But that's up to our customers to decide how they implement it. Um, Japan is known for having really advanced uh, GPS devices, no sorry, PNDs, right? They have for a long time really precise 3D buildings, etc. Uh, will this technology uh, beat what they have or will it be something similar but easy to, easier to make? Uh, that, that again depends how you implement it. So for, from an overall experience, this, this is uh, the latest in, in this area. So it allows you to build the kind of 3D models <coughs> uh, that, that are very advanced and, and that's really state of the art. Uh, how that's implemented depends very much on, on the use case as well as the, the target markets. Uh, I mean, our background is pretty much in, in car navigation, right? And we know that in Japan, um, 3D models play an important role in car navigation. Uh, we have done quite a bit of research in, in Europe, for instance, with consumers, and there we understand that consumers in Europe uh, do not have a need for, for 3D models in, in car navigation, for advanced 3D models in, in car navigation, in the sense that we know that when you're driving in busy traffic with your children making noise on, on the back seat in the car, you have between one and three seconds to get a signal from your navigation system and to take a decision. So you're much more interested then in, in very focused uh, instructions on whether to turn right, yes or no, rather than to digest a full, a full model of, uh, of the city. So uh, I think it's very important in these discussions that on the one hand we have the new technology which creates lots of opportunities, but on the other hand to translate that into user experiences that make sense for individual consumers. And there again, in 3D for in-car navigation, we believe the the possibility should be limited, whereas when you translate that onto a PC or on your tablet where you want to explore your next vacation destination, you're probably a lot more interested in, in a full 3D model providing you the full experience. So you said that uh, on the PC or on the tablet you can, you know, would like to use this full 3D view. So will you implement some uh, 3D technology that can make a map from above, so you have a full building? because. Uh, driving around the car, you can only go, you know, uh, you cannot go up 100 meter up, right? There is a limit of how, how high can you go. We'll use uh, other data from other companies to build a much a richer map from, from the top. Um, we're looking at these options right now. That's We, we don't capture uh, the, the images from above with this technology. This is really at, at the street level. Obviously, there are uh, endless opportunities to integrate that with, uh, with other data, uh, but we haven't decided on, uh, on whether and how we will do that.